Welcome to the Pastor's Motivational Corner. 1 John 4 verse 7 and 8 says, Beloved, let us love one another. For love is of God. Everyone that loveth is born of God. He that loveth not knoweth not God, because God is love. Only God can cause unconditional love to be placed in our hearts. And particularly within the context of a marriage, while we are physically attracted to our spouses, it takes divine love to keep us loving each other, even when the going gets tough and the tough gets going, even when we get unlovable and disagreeable. Only God can cause us to love the way he loves us. I want to thank God today in a special way for blessing the Allens, that is El Keith and his wife Cheryl Allen, with 38 years of marriage. They have been married for as long as I've been alive. And I want to thank God because in a world where marriages last sometimes a fleeting moment, when we do see longevity and persistence in marriage, we must pause to give thanks to God. It means that this is just more than just physical attraction at play. It is divine love embedded in hearts that have been lived out all during those years. Today we want to pray that God will continue to bless uh, Keith and Cheryl, that they will keep that divine love burning. And we want to thank God for all the other couples out there who demonstrate to us what divine love, what true love means. When we get married to our spouses, we pledge to love them in the good and in the bad. When, when they are lovable as well as unlovable, we pledge to be there uh, until death. And when examples of that are being played out right before our eyes, we must thank God. And we must continue to affirm such and to keep praying that God will keep them faithful. Today, the world is still searching for examples of true love. And of course, our ultimate example comes from Jesus. Uh, may God so help us today that we will continue to ask God to plant his love in our hearts so that those of us who are married can keep loving our spouses and most importantly that we can keep loving each other until that day jesus comes again